before installing a cylinder head in place you have to install flame ring so before installing the flame ring we just need to take the thickness measurement of flame ring on four side that is port starboard and uh, forward and aft all the four side you have to take the measurement and compare the measurement with the makers manual so that uh, we can uh, analyze the condition of uh, the flame ring so that uh, whether we can use it back or not so that's the idea of uh, taking the thickness measurement of uh, flame ring so before installing the flame ring again uh, lubricate the flame ring seating area and the most important thing that you need to check before installing the flame ring is you have to check the direction of flame ring if you put upside down then uh, it would be a wrong see there is a groove somewhere in the piston in the flame ring so that groove should face towards you that means the tapper end should be facing towards the cylinder head so next uh, you have to fix the gasket so for fixing the gasket you have to ensure the gasket area is completely free of any kind of carbon any impurities all those things so fix it and uh, important thing that you need to know is you cannot use any kind of uh, uh, copper slip or molly coat in the groove it is totally not advisable to fit the cop uh, copper slip or molly coat uh, in way of gasket so next is you have to fix the push rod uh, gasket and o rings so for that you have to clean the area nicely once it is cleaned you have to apply some copper slip clean renew the o ring and the gasket the gasket again the position of the gasket is very important the named the printed portion should be facing towards you so that is how i uh, fixed it so once that is done you have to fix the liner o ring cylinder uh, o ring so use vaseline for uh, fixing a uh, o ring so give a coat a thin coat and uh, install the o ring okay so main thing is you have to check for the flame ring install the gasket install the o ring and install the push rod gasket and o ring so all this thing should be done before installing cylinder head so again whenever you install the cylinder head ensure your lifting equipment is good and you have to keep the chain lock in straight way so that it don't hit the bolt of cylinder head when lowering so before lowering just inspect the bottom side of cylinder head if there is any dirt or something you have to remove it so i am doing the cleaning of uh, cylinder head bottom side so now you have to slowly slowly lower the cylinder head so while lowering ensure the cylinder head uh, holding bolt thread is not hitting eh? so that is the main thing that you need to know because uh, the cylinder head is very heavy and if it hits the thread then uh, it may damage the thread so we are lowering it so lower it slowly and properly and uh, yes we are lowering it so main thing that you need to see is the push rod gasket should not get away from its position it has to be in place okay now uh, cylinder head is in place now clean the bolts and fix the nut in place that means uh, blow air 
in way of uh, cylinder head bolt threads and also blow air in the nut so we are uh, fixing so apply a coat of molly coat and then you can uh, fix the nut ok now we are tightening the nut once the nut is fixed then you can start uh, preparing for hydraulic uh, tightening that is you have to fix the jack once the jack bolt is fixed then the jack stand and then the hydraulic jack again the same procedure for tightening the hose check the hose before using and uh, ensure all hoses all its fittings are in place are secured properly so once that is done usual procedure so for tightening you have to ensure the jack is completely tightened so that there is no oil remaining inside the jack I will show you can see the jack is already upward that means oil is inside when I tighten the jack will go inside and it will be in face to face so this is what you need to do for all the four hydraulic jack assembly so once that is tightened then we are ready to raise the pressure for tightening the nut okay so we are done <coughs> with tightening so for tightening we will do the tightening in two stages for this uh, we need to do the final tightening around 860 bar so initially I will rise up the pressure to 400 bar and then I will do the first stage tightening so now it is almost reaching 400 bar yes so once it reached 400 bar then uh, I'll do the initial tightening I stop the pump I'll do the tightening for all the four nuts so this condition is for uh, all the tightening pressure suppose uh, if for some jack it is 1500 if it is 1500 go for the 50 percentage 750 for first tightening and 1500 for the second tightening so now I am going to do the final tightening that is 860 bar so I am increasing the pressure so once I reach the pressure I will do the final tightening so we are doing the final tightening yes I tightened uh, for all the four nuts once the tightening is done I can release the pressure that means open the return line so again the same procedure for opening the jack tighten the jack ensure no oil inside the jack and remove it secure the jack that's all we are done with the uh, cylinder head installation and uh, by now we must have understood the procedure what are all the checks that we need to do before uh, installing the cylinder head what are all the things that need to be installed before installing the cyl cylinder head and uh, tightening procedure of a cylinder head all those things uh, you must have got some idea thank you Thanks for watching. Keep supporting.